hi, my name's Mary Knights. I'm the Senior Curator of Art here at the Tasmania Museum and Art Gallery. And this exhibition is called This Too Shall Pass. And it includes portraits and self-portraits, as well as still lives and artefacts that really focus on ideas around impermanence and the inevitable transience of life, beauty and material things. One of the great strengths of the Tasmania Museum and Art Gallery's collection is the number of portraits and self-portraits that we have, ranging right back from colonial period right through to contemporary artworks. So as, as well as recording physical features, they provide insights into the personalities, attitudes and aspirations of the people. The postures, gestures, clothing and various possessions, maybe a golden ring or a satin ribbon, an open book, reveal social conventions uh, from the sitter's time and they offer clues to their class, their wealth and accomplishments and really expose how they wanted to be remembered by posterity. But often the artist's opinions of the sitters can also be gleaned from these paintings and seem to range from respect and empathy to disdain or indifference and sometimes sycophantic flattery. I'm hoping that this exhibition has a bit of a surreal feeling, um, and a slightly bizarre aesthetic. Most of the artworks have been hung in a really dense, old-fashioned academy style on two gallery walls. Uh, on one side, there are these colonial, modern and contemporary portraits, including Sally Rees's video, Zap Zap and The Medium. Um, on the opposite walls are still lives of paintings of flowers, fruit, fish and fowl. Um, I guess these present scenes of abundance and beauty as well as alluding to the brevity of life and the ephemerality of things. The artist's styles are really diverse, ranging from William Bulow Gould's Still Life with Gunn, illustrating the bounty of the hunt, to George Lambert's really beautiful Still Life, and James Gleason's visceral, surreal painting titled Nest of Premonitions, painted in 1987. One of the most significant artworks here in this exhibition is on the far wall of the gallery, and it's by Julie Goff, a Tasmanian Aboriginal artist. It's titled Timekeeper. And in that work, Julie has brought together a tea tree spear and a hand-forged colonial pitchfork. And as if swinging like a pendulum, the sweep of charcoal on the wall suggests time passing and the impact of colonisation and dispossession on Tasmanian Aboriginal people. I'm hoping that audiences, when they come into this gallery, will be intrigued and a little bit enchanted and perhaps a bit unsettled. It's intended to be light-hearted as well as a little bit philosophical. And perhaps when you walk through the gallery, I hope that you feel some of the eyes of these people just watching you as you're standing here. 